Coca-Cola. Always such a pleasure. Really nice. Uh, hey, welcome and hello all you old and new uh, viewers. I'm gonna apologize for starters. Uh, English is not my first language, so if you do not understand something I tell you, please write a comment and I will explain it to you. But I will do my best. And this video is probably gonna be quite a long video, but uh, yeah, because I have a lot of a lot of things to show and a lot of things to tell. And uh, in the end of this video, I'm gonna read all your um, nice comments uh, from the Brian Wilson funny moments video. Uh, and I know I've said a video quite a, quite a few times already in this video, but uh, yeah, from this this video, <laughs> uh, there's already like over 100,000 views, and uh, that's why I just wanted to, you know, there's like uh, tons of very nice comments for Mr. Wilson, and uh, I'm really afraid that YouTube is gonna pull this uh, off any day because they have been doing that kind of stuff, especially with Beach Boys related uh, videos. Uh, so, you know, I just want to read all these comments so that at least the comments will stay, you know, in YouTube, even if this video gets pulled off someday. So I'm gonna uh, go into that a bit later. Right now, I will uh, first uh, show you one purchase that I did today while I was shopping, kind of like window shopping, and uh, then we will check out the new Brian Wilson Anthology, anthology uh, LP that just came out, and yeah. So let's go into the business. This is the thing that I bought today. Look at that. Oh yeah, and this, I just realized that this is quite... <laughs> this. This is quite like the Canadian Stud Muffin videos. I don't know if you know uh, him, but he's a very good uh, Canadian YouTuber. Has been creating YouTube videos for I think 11 years or something, whatever. But yeah, he's like 50 years older than me, but and he's more into the Beatles. And you know, everybody knows that the Beatles suck. So you know, uh, this is I think these are I think it's like a German company. But these were made in Italy, I guess. I don't know, but let's see. They are whis whiskey uh, glasses. And, you know, every man should have a whiskey glass collection. So let's just unbox this uh, very fast. They are not Mon, whatever that means. Uh, I think they should be like, you know, Riedel. I think it's like a, yeah, made in Germany. I think it's like a, a good company, you know. And these feel very, you know, amazing. And I was actually thinking that, you know, I know these these probably should be washed before, but I was thinking that maybe, uh, like, for the celebration here, for my first uh, long English uh, music uh, music vlog, let's taste a little bit of um, this. I don't really know. I think it's from USA. Um, Bourbon. Uh, Frontier whiskey. Uh, I think it's a uh, bullet uh, trademark. Uh, I think it's from yeah, it's it's from Louisville. Uh, is that Kentucky? I don't know. K Y, but yeah. Let's try this. I I usually like to um, uh, these with ice, but let's just you know take a very tiny um, drip yeah oh, not very good with alcohol oh but that's very nice it wasn't the cheapest one so bought it yesterday no no I bought it like three or four months ago I think so yeah uh, let's go and unwrap the antholog anthology. It's a hard word, you know, for me. LP. Mm. And the reason why I'm doing this in English and the reason why I'm doing this uncut is because uh, I really want to practice my English speaking skills. And, and uh, I know that 
if I would do this in Finnish, it would get maybe like 20 views from, from you know, my regular um, viewers. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that they understand English as well. So if they want to see this, then they can, you know, watch it in English. But, you know, let's just try if this will, or if this would like, you know, find new international individuals. So, let me just put this knife away. Uh, uh, okay. Oh yeah, before we go into this one, sorry for that, uh, I want to show you uh, the LP, LP that came yesterday. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about it very much, but Leonard Cohen's uh, death of a ladies man, uh, it's, uh, I love this cover, it's very cool. And the LP is uh, from uh, Cohen and Phil Spector, if you're not familiar with it, I suggest you should, you know, you to go and listen to it. I think it's filled with great songs, it's very underappreciated and it's, it's almost like, you know, hated by a lot of fans by Cohen because it's it's very different from his usual usual style but um, especially the songs uh, True Love, Leaves No Traces, uh, Paper Thin Hotel and Memories and the title song they are all fantastic especially Memories it's it's my favorite song and one of my favorite favorite songs by Leonard Cohen you know ever and the LP itself was very, uh, very cool. I really love the label, the Columbia uh, red label thing, and it's very heavy. This is the music on vinyl re-release thing, you know. But yeah, anyway, I'm probably gonna do like a review of that LP later, but probably in Finnish, you know. Depends. You now, if you wanna hear it in English, I will do it in English, but I'm much better. <laughs> Speaking my first language. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Ah, back cover. Kind of boring. No, I'm gonna be completely honest with this. So, yeah, here's the front cover. I kinda, you know, uh, you know, how would I put it? I do like it, you know. I, I'm not saying it's a bad cover, but it's, it's very generic, generic, you know, and, uh, and I don't really understand why they chose a picture from, I believe that's from the 80s. It could be early 90s too, but I, I believe it's late 80s. And uh, I think it, that's kind of weird. Because, you know, it would have been much more cooler if there was a, you know, modern day picture. And, uh, you know, the back, back cover is, you know, pretty, pretty uh, boring. I don't really really like it much, but before we unwrap this, let's go fast uh, through the songs. So it has two LPs and uh, four sides, of course. Sides. Side A opens up with Love and Mercy. It's the original studio um, track from the '88 self-titled LP. Uh, I really love the studio version, the 80s styled with uh, the massive synthesizer production and uh, all the amazing drums, you know, I really do love it. A lot of people don't like it, I understand it, but I do prefer it to like, you know, probably like to, to all the other versions that there is of that song. Uh, even though the modern day uh, live version that he performs with his band it's very uh, touching and very, you know, different from this, of course. It's very minimalistic and, you know, really great. Uh, I don't like the way they, you know, have taken away the... Uh, is it bridge? No, I don't, I don't think it's bridge. I, whatever. I'm not really, you know, good with the musical terms. But, you know, the part after the... I don't know. Does it come after the second uh, chorus over? I, I, I don't remember, but you know the... Whatever, let's go forward. Serves up, serves up a lot. I think it's the Brian Wilson Presents My version. It, it sounds like a live version, but I think it's the 
Brian Wilson uh, presents Smile. Pretty good version. I do prefer the Beach Boys version, but yeah. Heroes and Villains, again, uh, from the Brian Wilson presents Smile, I believe. Melt Away is uh, from the self-titled LP from 88. Um, very underrated song. I'm really glad that it's on this LP. It's uh, really, really beautiful. And Side B starts with Let It Shine, which is, you know, once again one of the best songs from the self-titled LB LP. And uh, it was written by Brian Wilson and Jeff Lynne. It's... Uh, I don't know, I really like it. I think it's one of the best songs from, from that uh, album. Some Sweet Day is uh, a song by Andy pa Paley and uh, Brian Wilson. And I think it was recorded in the late 80s, but I'm not really sure. And I hadn't heard it before it was released uh, as a sing single track or whatever release, like a month ago, I think. I really li like it. It's I think it gets better on every listen. I like the production. It's very rich, but not too much, you know. And it's very powerful, and I do like the part, the some sweet day, blah, blah, you know, I can't sing, but it's it's really great. Very, uh, uh, what's the word? Very, uh, okay, I forgot it. Like, okay, very, uh, <laughs> okay, I can't, I can't, I, <laughs> the word just, you know, slipped out of my head, whatever. Catchy, that was the word, yeah. Very catchy song. And Rio Grande is like, I don't know, it's it's very epic. I kind of uh, believe that Brian himself doesn't really like it. Maybe maybe there is some like bad memories that it brings, I don't know. But he, I don't think he has like ever, never ever bef performed it. And uh, that's kind of kind of a shame because it really is a great song. I think it's up there with the smile stuff. Uh, all the parts are just, you know, very memorable and the production is great. It's not it's not too much, you know, the 80s style. It's very, uh, very beautiful, you know, and very, I, I'm, okay, I, I don't, I don't know if it's underrated track, but it's very unknown track, you know. I wish it was more, um, more known and more appreciated, but what can you do? But it's really great that it was chosen on this anthology uh, release. Cry that ends the side B is once again a uh, very uh, amazing song. I think it's probably the second best song of, of uh, Imagination LP, the album that Brian Wilson came up with Joel uh, Thomas in 98. Uh, and I do l like the way that it uh, was chosen on this LP with Lay Down Burden from the same uh, LP, Imagination. Uh, Lay Down Burden is definitely one of my favorite Brian Wilson solo tunes and it's very very beautiful and um, I love the melody uh, and I love the lyrics and I even like the production I think it's very you know it's it's very you know, out there, kind of, <laughs> kind of cheesy. But I think it fits fits uh, this song. You know, it's kind of you know reminds me of some Elton John, you know, stuff. I don't know. I'm not a huge Elton John fan, but you know, you know what I mean. Mm, my only, my only kind of you know problem with this LP or or this compilation is that. Uh, uh, the first time and this isn't love tracks, you know, kind of like not not the tracks itself, but the way that they just you know throw through two live tracks in the middle of this compilation. That's kind of weird, especially when this isn't love kind of uh, begins abruptly. Abruptly, I don't know if that's a word, but you know, uh, it just kind of cuts straight without any fade. You know, with the speak at this about like this song is gonna be in a movie. You know, blah blah blah. It's it's weird, you know. <laughs> but what can you do? I love those both both songs, though. Though 
but yeah soul searching is an uh, interesting track it was made in the late 90s i think 95 uh, i do prefer the beach boys version that was released on the made in california box set with carl wilson and um, uh, with the beach boys and uh, I do uh, prefer that version. This, you know, isn't bad either, but it kind of lacks the punch, I think. Uh, getting in over my head is a, you know, title track from the El uh, uh, album that came, I think, in 2004. And it's kind of, you know, it's not a bad track, but it's it's kind of just, you know, mediocre kind of you know and now we uh, get to the you know good stuff side d opens up with um, the like in i love you and it's from the brian wilson wilson reimagines re gershwin album that came out in i think 2011 am i correct i'm not really sure but anyway, I think it's one of the best tracks uh, from that album, so, you know, a good pick. And um, I think it was, like, uh, partially written by Brian. I think so. And uh, then we have Midnight's Another Day, which is amazing track. One of the greatest uh, late Brian Wilson songs, and I think it's up there with Brian Wilson's you know, greatest songs of all time, you know, it's very, uh, it's very dark, but the piano uh, melody and the chords, especially in the beginning and in the end, that dun 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 dun, whatever, it's very good, you know, I, I don't know who, who came up with that, I hope it wasn't Scott Bennett, but, but you know, whatever. Sorry about this. Cheers. I'm very uh, thirsty and tired. Ah. Colors of the Wind. Uh, I think that's from the Disney album, but I'm not sure because I'm not very familiar with that LP or, you know, that CD. I don't know if there was ever like a vinyl release of it. I don't think so. Uh, I don't have that uh, album. I think it came out like in... Was it 2008, a uh, 10 or whatever? I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, I don't have it, and I'm, I'm, I'm not very familiar with, with it. Uh, but anyway, Colors of the Wind is kind of, you know, nah, <laughs> nah. I don't know. Not, not one of my favorites. You know, it's kind of um, forgettable. You know, not, not, not bad, not a bad song, but you know, just nothing special. And uh, especially when it's in the middle, you know, the, uh, of you know, two great songs, in my opinion, uh, which, you know, the first one being Midnight's Another Day, and the second one being One Kind of Love, which is from No Peer Pressure album that came out in 2015. The latest, sorry, the latest uh, vinyl release from our album release uh, from Brian Wilson, and it was written for the Love and Mercy movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's it's great. It's fantastic. And the album uh, finishes off with Run Change Run, which is a new track, kinda. It was written, uh, or actually, I don't know when it was written, but it was originally um, recorded, I think, in uh, th 2000, <laughs> 2013. Numbers are very hard for me. Uh, yeah, and it originally I think it, it, um, it involved Jeff Beck and Al Jardine was singing the lead, but I think this is at least partially a re-recorded version. But I love that song. I think it's great. It's really, you know, it's really up there with with the early 60s Beach Boys rock and roll, you know, simple tunes. Uh, it's something that Brian has not done in like 50 years, you know before this one of course you know the production is very simple there's just guitars bass and uh, drums basically and a lot of vocals of course and the vocals are great uh, Brian's 
modern uh, vocals, especially like rock and roll vocals, are really really great. I don't think his voice is anymore, you know, the best for kind of ballads and you know those kind of uh, songs where you have to kind of use your voice more tenderly or not tenderly but softer or whatever, you know. He can pull that off sometimes too, but but I think most his voice is most most suitable these days for kind of like not yelling, but you know he he can really pull off that. On this track, he doesn't really sound like you know rough and that that kind of stuff, but he can really pull that kind of voice um, very well. And I wish he would use it more and uh, maybe record. Uh, uh, rock and roll album with kind of rougher uh, vocals because he can really pull off that strong, strong uh, rock voice these days, and that's something that he doesn't really often use. But yeah, I think his voice is. I'm gonna probably uh, you know be thrown rocks because of this, but uh, at me because of this because you know. But, but I think his. Voice is has. Uh, I think his voice is these days better than, for example, Paul McCartney's. You know, not you know blaming him, but I think his voice is weaker. He, you know, and that's that's really a miracle because Brian's voice, you know, was pr pretty much uh, uh, destroyed at one point. But he has come a long way from that uh, that kind of uh, shouting, you know, vocal style, whatever he had in the 80s and 90s, and you know. And now he kind of has that. He he does have that smoothness uh, in his voice again, but he can really pull off that great uh, rough, you know, that rough uh, style thing, you know, and not really. Uh, great explaining this to you now but I want to save the uh, I'm just gonna save it later you know the sticker I wanna say shave it let's just take a fast look inside of it okay my camera is running low on battery I think I'm gonna uh, continue this video later but wow this is pretty cool it's a new picture Oh, I'm gonna continue this video later, but yeah, that, that must be a, a new picture. Uh, I think it's from the recording of the vocals for Run James Run. You know, I believe it is. I'm I'm not really sure, but ah, uh, yeah, it's a great, great, great release. And let's just take a fast look at the LPs itself. Oh, wow! Pretty heavy. I think they are the 180 grams. I'm not really sure. But pretty cool, yeah. I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, hey, uh, charge my battery for a moment and then we will continue with the comments that you left on the Brian Wilson Funny Moments video. So please stay with me. Oh hey, we have a what you call this inner sleeve thing, whatever. There we have a picture from the nineties. Pretty cool. Uh, and there's some story. Wow, didn't expect that. Mm, but yeah, and hey, then I have one story too to tell you about meeting Brian Wilson, so please stay with me. I'm gonna need to take a little break. So yeah, welcome back, or welcome back to me, I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, from eBay, I just ordered from Asia um, two of these. These are like TJBL. Uh, earplugs or headphones, I don't know what they are called actually, but I lost the other one of these, these plastic or rubber parts like a couple months ago 
and then I found from eBay more of these but the ones that came are smaller actually and it was a pain in the uh, yeah to get this one fit but whatever let's go to the comments or actually before the comments I just want to say uh, that I'm, I'm very um, glad that people uh, didn't understand this compilation video uh, the wrong way because it wasn't meant to be like to mock Brian Wilson or you know anything like that to laugh at him or anything like that you know it was just you know to show I, I genuinely think that he is one of the funniest uh, pe persons like on earth seriously he's very funny and a lot of people don't really understand understand that they a lot of people think that he is you know not very smart but I think he's actually a lot smarter than you know most of us and and a lot smarter than uh, most of us uh, you know think he is but anyway let's go and read uh, your comments uh, by the king this man inspires me to be a better individual and try to love all and uh, see the treasures he's the best such a kind soul never could hurt anyone uh, Joe Gomez a wonderful man with a vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable soul and a loving personality Resil Vinya it's impossible not to love him and it, well there's 14 uh, answers to this okay I'm not gonna read the nasty comments there's stuff like from uh, about my love and stuff about Oasis <laughs> uh, so you know I'm just gonna blah 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 okay that's just all Oasis conversation uh, Matt Helm Brian's lovability boils down to the fact that although he's talent personif personified he has not one ounce of ego or self-importance love him uh, then uh, Jeff Gladderbaugh wrote, I enjoyed watching the clip where Brian and Car Carl were laughing and having fun. Brian really loved his brothers. They were both incredibly supportive in different ways. Carl was always such a good soul. Mm, yeah, true. <laughs> There's nasty, nasty comment about my glove. Mm. Biscuit uh, zero one hundred wrote, "He's such an adorable old man." Somebody uh, wrote a pretty interesting comment, I thought. Rockstar Crane. Brian can go from near catatonic to outra outrageously animated. It's been said that all the brain damage uh, slash parental abuse stuff really didn't affect him to such, such a degree that he's made a game of putting people on, on his whole life as a way to get what he wants or to just get away from uh, everyone. I have met him several times, even recorded in the studio with him, and I can truly say that nothing gets past Brian Wilson. He is totally aware of everything and everybody around him. Mm. Uh, then he wrote more. The first session lasted all of 10 minutes. He brought in a scribble chart, handed it to me, then showed me uh, what he wanted me to play. It was a remake of Gimme Some Lovin'. We did one take and he got up and walked out. Several months later I got uh, called again and this time it was Billy Hinchy and me on guitar, Dennis, Jim Garcia on bass and Brian on piano. Brian wanted to do Shortening Bread for the 800th uh, time. He's obsessed with that song. <laughs> That's true. The session lasted several hours with Brian bringing out the fire tapes from the studio wall to play for everyone. 
Uh, I saw him for about 30 minutes in a sound check recently and came away with the exact same impression. That's by J7286. Yeah, I have to agree with uh, J7286. I uh, also met uh, Brian at a sound check uh, in the you know recent VIP pet sound store thing, just briefly. And he definitely is you know that kind of person. He really um you know when he came on stage uh, on the sound check, when he sat down, he was super calm, not nervous at all. And there was probably like, I would say maybe 50 uh, individuals uh, in the audience uh, watching the sound check, and he uh, kind of like scanned uh, all the people sitting on the audience, just like looked at everyone uh, to the eye, like just like a you know, kind of like scanned everybody, and he really seems like a person who you know, is very much aware of his surroundings and like, you know, very sensitive kind of senses and that's kind of the impression that I uh, got of him and, you know, very, uh, you know, not, not nervous at all, you know, very uh, comfortable with his, you know, uh, doings. Damon wrote, there is no debate, Brian Wilson is our greatest American songwriter. I just hope that he truly realizes how he has en enriched the lives of uh, tens of millions of people around the globe and allows his heart and soul to fill with the warmth and love people feel for him. Uh, Mira, uh, 1959, wrote, Brian is still cute. Patman 1966 wrote, uh, After watching these clips, I couldn't help but think that they should have cast Bill Murray as older Brian instead of John Cusack in Love and Mercy. That's something uh, that a lot of people actually said that uh, that he resembles Bill Murray, but uh, I'm, I'm very glad that they had John Cusack playing Brian. He did a really fantastic job. Uh, Brian is brilliant. I'm totally ashamed of myself for not paying close attention to the Beach Boys sooner. A hilarious and obviously kind and loving soul. I've seen too many people too quick to disrespect, uh, disrespect Brian Wilson. The man deserves love and respect for the love and respect and soul bearing he has done with beautiful music. Uh, that was written by Pinky T. Pink. Uh, Alan Lacroix wrote you have to love Brian. Thanks, Brian, for making all of us feel good. Uh, Kelsey Sean wrote, He is one of the most naturally charming people in the world. I've always loved him and his music and his genius. <clears throat> Yama, Yam, Yam Magic uh, wrote, How can you not love Brian Wilson? Wrench Wild, Brian is a survivor, a true inspiration. Uh, Greg Mitchell, I always come back to this guy. I need him in my life every once in a while. Paul Juan Dick. <laughs> Dick, no, not Dick, but it's like D, D uh, Y J C K. Yes, it is impossible not to love him. Uh, John Jay wrote, Brian, uh, What a brilliant musician and cr uh, great guy. Brian is such a real and honest person. person person. I still want to see him playing live with the rest of the Beach Boys. I hope he is still around and healthy when he is 100 years old. Brian is a kind soul. Uh, the, fact, uh, the fact this man is still alive is incredible. One of the greatest composers and producers of all time. Would kill to see him and his band perform live. Hopefully I will get uh, that chance when he performs Pet Sounds in Reno in August. Uh, written by Ivan the Love Hammer. I just love, love, love Brian Wilson. He always seems such like such a kind, gentle soul, which is wonderful considering all the shit he's been through. Love and mercy, 
Fan Fan Capan. Uh, Alan McGuinness wrote, he is a genius, Jean genius. Mm. Oliver Stein Bergson. I love how honest and sincere he is. Seems like a, a what you see is what you get kind of guy. Mm. Hard to imagine such an unassuming guy is one of the great musical geniuses of all time. Uh, Matt Monk wrote that one and uh, Jim Rafferty. Uh, great little compilation. I learned a few things about uh, such a legend. Uh, Sal41 wrote, Happy 75th birthday, uh, dumb angel, you are very much loved. Uh, Kunsha, Shinsha wrote, God, I love this guy. Then uh, Tony Ginetti is ref re uh, referencing to a particular clip on this video, and he says about that clip um, that Carl is Carl is beautifully wonderful. Carl was an amazing man, and just in this 20, 24 second clip, you can see how the, those two truly truly loved one another and brought out the best in each other. So sad, Carl and Dennis are gone, and fa father time is a reality. Uh, Cheryl Henson said, cool, glad God made a Brian Wilson. Um, Joe Cole wrote, my heart melts at that first bit. Uh, a tree wrote, I want Brian to be the king of the world. Give him a throne and a sandwich and we'll all be happy. Uh, Night5 wrote, one thing for sure, he has always been a loving person. The man put out an album called Smile, for God's sakes. Uh, Concord Clark wrote, Do two donuts and a diet coke for breakfast. He is my hero for that fact alone. <laughs> uh, Veronica's Rhythm wrote, Every time I see Brian Wilson, I always see that young, adorable, sweet, chubby face when the Beach Boys started. He might be older now, but that's what I see. To think of the troubles he had breaks my heart. He is such a sweet person. Sagerek56 wrote, He's a big old teddy bear. Willie Finn Funny guy, obviously loved by all, especially the other Beach Boys. Beach Boys fan forever MLP wrote uh, that uh, he or she is in one of the clips. Uh, the person wrote a, a lots of laugh. Me, I'm the screaming girls in the background. Uh, is such a what? Oh no no no! <laughs> Sorry, I this is hard to read because it uh, doesn't have any you know commas or dots. Uh, I didn't understand you correctly first. I'm mean, the screaming girls in the background is of such a big Beach Boys fan girl so re relatable. So uh, he or she is just refer referring that uh, uh, you know that the person. He or she, or they would, uh, you know, act in the same kind of way uh, as the fans in the clip or whatever. You know, sorry, I understand, understood that incorrectly. Jim Dandy wrote, "Love Brian, hard not to." Short sight, uh, sighted dog. Brian's humor is so natural and honest. Maeb, Maeb wrote, I just want to be his best friend. And OGs, oh back when they would applaud starving. Uh, sad how his father treated this warm, caring man. He's also a genius. That was written by Tango Bango. Uh, and then uh, Michael Langley says that he sounds like Bill Murray. Uh, 
Bill Murray wrote he is the greatest of all time. It actually says Bill Murray at the top. <laughs> uh, the Boy Wonder wrote, oh, oh, oh Brian, uh, and there's a heart. What a sweet, sweet man, big old teddy bear. <clears throat> Michael Matisse, oh my god, what a great video. Thanks so much for sharing. Love this guy. Uh, Doomer34 wrote, Brian is such a childlike, polite and funny man. I see a lot, a lot of overlaps with his personality and that of Michael Jackson, my absolute favorite artist. Uh... Poop Max Stuffins, that's an interesting name. Brian is such a funny, lovable guy. Asher Cohen, Brian, you are a true American treasure. Thank you. Mike Lake, Fla Lake Floor, humble and honest. Brian is the real deal. Uh, Kim Ilt wrote, Gotta love the, uh, the Brian Wilson. Michael Langley wrote that Brian sounds like Bill Murray. <laughs> Uh, so Cal Gal wrote So Cal Ga So Cal Gal. He is the first real honest person who, when asked about mon monetary security, very honest, straightforward, and none of the honorable, humble, mumbo jumbo bullshit. If people weren't chasing the monetary security, then why is lottery tickets being sold daily, especially when people get paid? Um, okay, then there's some stuff about my club, but that's for another video. Uh, Dr. Loco wrote, I love how adorable, uh, adorably nerdy he seems sometimes. Brooke Bethel, genius. Uh, Brooke Bethel wrote also, fantastic concert last night, Brian. God love and bless you. Well, he already has. The cutest Brian that's ever lived, Yoko Molotov. Bless him, so talented, Mooncat uh, 222. Mike Hunt is dry, wrote, I see so much of myself in that man. Uh, Th Thomas Kent, greatness. Uh, Beach Boys fan forever, MLP. I love Brian, this is hilarious, I'm dying. Uh, City Treasures wrote, I love this man's man so much, cool video. I thought I saw a lot of uh, Brian Wilson footage, I guess not. Uh, a Darlene wrote, long time friends, mine. Uh, I, I guess he, he or she knows Brian. Uh, Brian Barrett wrote, Brian Wilson is God. That's what I said to him at the Baloe sessions. I think that was in Switzerland last year. Okay, let me see if there's anything. Okay, that was pretty much it. Um, but yeah, couldn't agree more uh, with the comments, really nice comments. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This turned out to be quite a long, but please write a comment if you watched, uh, watched this uh, completely through. I know I was struggling with my language, but no can do. Not gonna do this again. <laughs> Let's just go with the first take. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, please feel free to subscribe. But yeah, I think this is it. It's always hard to end these videos. Yeah, let's just end this right now. Bye bye.